Item number SCP-845, Object Class Euclid, Special Containment Procedures. Specimens of SCP-845 are to be contained in a hermetically sealed chamber at least 4 by 6 by 3 meters in size, with no more than 7 individual specimens kept in a single chamber at any given time. The bottom of each chamber should be covered to 15 centimeters with clay-rich soil, save for the reservoir of fresh water, as well as a dispersal of sticks and logs. The chamber should be brightly lit during daylight hours and dimly lit at night. The reservoir should be continually stocked with small fish for feeding, as SCP-845 will not recognize non-living fish as food. Wild specimens of SCP-845 are to be captured and transferred to a suitable containment facility. Waterways believed or confirmed to be inhabited by SCP-845 should be sealed off from the public and carefully monitored for activity until such time it is believed that all specimens have been captured. Description SCP-845 is a species closely related to both the European polecat and domesticated ferret. Specimens of SCP-845 appear similar to a common hybrid between these subspecies, with dark fur, a pointed muzzle, and an elongated body. SCP-845 demonstrates greater prevalence of social behavior and diminished territorial instinct compared to European polecat. SCP-845's anomalous abilities manifest when a specimen is startled, hunted, or, rarely, when participating in play behavior. During such times, specimens are capable of fully converting their bodies into a liquid. In this state, the specimen is a light brown liquid with a density slightly less than that of water. It will most often flow freely, but will change viscosity rapidly if it is in danger of being separated into multiple masses, which has been shown to invariably kill the specimen, and will refer to its solid form if it is in extreme danger of this occurring. Its liquid state shows limited motility on land, but is extremely mobile underwater, capable of forming itself into complex hydrodynamic structures including fins and water jets for use in hunting fish. Analysis of its liquid state is ongoing, but has revealed the presence of fiber-like structures connecting the nodules of Daedoric sponge. Specimens of SCP-845 seem to seek out small contained spots for resting, including in their liquid state. Because of this, specimens are known to sometimes enter humans' canteens while on camping trips. If a human or other animal attempts to consume part of a specimen, the specimen will either attempt to retract itself from the subject's mouth, or may force the subject to consume it in its entirety. Both seem to be instinctual reactions attempting to remain in a single piece. Upon being deposited into the subject's stomach, the specimen will enter an apparent state of confusion, switching rapidly between solid and liquid states. Shortly afterwards, the specimen will be solidify and initiate bearing behavior in an attempt to escape. The subject will experience severe internal bleeding and acute peritonitis as the specimen tears through the walls of the stomach, muscle, and tissues of the abdominal cavity. Upon successfully breaching the surface of the subject's skin, the specimen will enter a liquid state and exit through the wound before we solidifying and attempting to return to its original habitat. Item number SCP Book J Object Class Apollyon, but could be considered Euclid. Special Containment Procedures Members of SCP Book J are to be held in a life size replica of the Taj Mahal constructed of pure moonbeams inlaid with gold. The containment site is to be equipped with at least 3.2 million boutique artisanal chew toys. Alternatively, members of SCP Box J could be housed in a standard animal containment unit. It is to have 30 meals a day consisting solely of the souls of their enemies, 
Enemies of SCP Bokshe include, but are not limited to, fascists, people with a negative score on the oral evaluation test, members of the species Homo erectus, and cats. A minimum standard of three meals a day of animal grade kibble could also be acceptable. Personnel subject to being in the same site as members of SCP Bokshe are to be reclassified as Z-Class until all members of SCP Bokj has been transferred. Reclassification to E-Class could be authorized until such time as a definition for Z-Class personnel is established. A massive pool party is to be thrown with the pool to be entirely filled with $100 notes and staffed by approximately all of the hookers, although a minimum of zero hookers could be allowed. Present now attending any such pool party, should it exist, are to be given Class X amnestics, and any present now leaving with any of the $100 notes from the pool are to be terminated, or could have standard and better disciplinary action filed against them. Any attempts to bring members of SCP Bokshe into contact with a member of the Overseer Council is to result in orbital rejection or death. Members of SCP Bokshe are to have their genitalia ceremoniously eviscerated as per standard animal spay and neutering procedure. As soon as they are identified by Foundation personnel, members of SCP Bokshe are not under any circumstances allowed to breed. Personnel encouraging members of SCP Bokshe to breed are to be drawn and corded at the soonest available time or terminated in any other way if a horse is not available. Description SCP Bokj is a breed of the species Canis familiaris. It is distinguished by its regal flowing mane that can measure as much as 30 kilometers in length in brown, beige, or combat coloration and its cognito hazardous effect on all members of life kind. However, members outside the species Homo sapiens could be said to be immune. Any description of any kind described while in the effect of SCP Bokshe become absolutely disproportionate to something that could be considered remotely near accurate to any physical universe that does or could be theorized to exist. This effect could have been shown not to manifest in hypothetical statements following the initial descriptions. The range of this effect has been shown to be upwards of several million light years though it could be as little as 10 kilometers. Attempts to remove the affected descriptions only serves to anger the thaumaturgical entities that control the universe and cause them to hate all of reality even more than they already do and bring our inevitable end even closer than it already is. Or could result in even more outlandish descriptions than were previously produced. Unsurprisingly, this effect can have absolutely disastrous consequences, resulting in a double Omega K class end of consensus reality scenario if left unchecked, but more often could result in minor headaches for Foundation staff.